Hey, Mr. Richards here. Today we're going to talk about how to graph a line using the, both the x and the y intercepts. So let's get started. Mrs. Hodges spent $80 on movie tickets and drinks for her son and his friends. The total cost of x movie tickets and y drinks is represented by the equation 8x plus 4y equals 80. Well, the first thing we're going to do is to complete the steps to write the equation in slope-intercept form, which, if you remember, is y equals mx plus b. So we need to work on getting this y alone. So we'll subtract the 8x from both sides, and we end up with 4y equals 80 minus 8x. Now we still need to get this y alone so we can divide by 4 on both sides. That y is now left alone as it is here. And 80 divided by 4 is 20. And 8x divided by 4 is 2x. So now we can rewrite this in the form. y equals negative 2x plus 20. Now, when we graph the equation, our y-intercept is 20. So we make a dot at 20. Then, our slope of negative 2 means negative 2 over 1. So we'll rise, or in this case, fall 2 every time we run 1. So, rise is 2 over 1, but our graph here is counting by 4, so you have to be pretty be careful. One thing we can do is to say, well, if I'm counting by fours, if I run four, how much do I fall? Well, eight. So for every four I go to the right, I go down eight. So four to the right and then eight down would put me right here. 8 down, and then 4 to the right. My graph will look something like that. Now what does the point 0, 20 represent? Well that's right here, so that's the y-intercept. Let's move on to our lesson. All right, in our first example, we're going to state the x and y intercepts, then use those intercepts to graph the equation. We have y equals negative 1 third x plus 5. Our first step is going to be to find the y-intercept. Well, our equation y equals negative 1 third x plus 5 is already in the y equals mx plus b form, where b is our y-intercept. So our y-intercept is simply 5. Now to find the x-intercept, it's a little bit trickier. We need to let y equal 0. So we have our equation y equals negative 1 third x plus 5. We're going to let y equal 0, so put in a 0 for y, equals negative 1 third x plus 5. Now our goal here in this equation is going to be to get the x alone. So let's subtract 5 first from both sides. That cancels, and we're left with negative 5 equals negative 1 third x. And remember, to simplify this type of equation, we can multiply by the reciprocal, which is a negative 3 over 1, or just negative 3. So our answer here, negative 3 times negative 5 is 15 equals x. So our x-intercept is where y equals 0, which is the point 15, 0. 
because remember, our ordered pairs are in xy form. So our y-intercept is 5, so we can go up to 5. Our x-intercept, where it crosses the x-axis, is at 15, 0, which is right there. And now we can draw a line to connect the two. Now make sure when you're drawing the lines that you actually go through the points on both sides and draw your arrows. And that's your answer, graphing th with the intercepts. Now if we do one more, we have y equals negative 3 halves x plus 3. Again, our first step is going to be to find the y-intercept. Well, I'm already in my slope intercept form. So my y-intercept is simply the 3. So the y-intercept is 3, meaning this is at 0, 3. So 0, 3 is right there. There's my y-intercept. To find the x-intercept, let y equal 0. So in my equation, y equals negative 3 halves x plus 3. If y equals 0, then we'll substitute in 0 for y equals negative 3 halves x plus 3. Again, our goal is going to be to get the x alone to solve for x here. You can do that by subtracting this 3 from both sides. You're left with negative 3 equals negative 3 halves x. And to cancel out the negative 3 halves, multiply by the reciprocal of negative 3 halves, which is negative 2 thirds. And you can do that on both sides. And what you're left with, negative 2 thirds times negative 3 over 1. Well, this cancels. And you're simply left with a negative times a negative is a positive. So our answer is 2 equals x. Well, that's my x-intercept, which means this is at 2, 0, which is right there. And now all I have to do is draw a line that goes through the points as best you can. And not a perfect line on my part, but pretty close. Drawing the arrows on either end. Let's move on. Mr. Davis spent $230 on lunch for his class. Sandwiches, which were X, cost $6, and drinks Y cost $2. This can be represented by the equation 6X plus 2Y equals 230. Use the X and Y intercepts to graph the equation, then interpret the intercepts. Well, let's use the X and Y intercepts to graph the equation first. Now, in the equation here, we have 6x plus 2y equals 230. Now, in order to find the x-intercept, it says we can let y equal 0. So 6x plus 2, and we're going to substitute in a 0 for y, equals 230. Well, 2 times 0 is 0. So we're left with 6x equals 230. And if we divide by 6 on both sides, we are left with x equals 38.33. Let's do the y-intercept before we graph. We'll start with the original equation again, 6x plus 2y equals 230. This time, we're going to let the x equal 0 to find the y-intercept, since when x equals 0, that's when I cross my y-axis. Again, we found the x-intercept when y equals 0, because that's when we cross the x-axis. So, going back to the problem now, 6, and we're going to let x equal 0, plus 2y equals 230. 6 times 0 is 0, so we're left with 2y equals 230. And this time divide by 2 on both sides. And y 
is going to equal 115. Now, what does this mean for my points? Well, if y is 0 here with my x-intercept, this is the point 38.330, which on my graph is right around there. And for my y-intercept, if x equals 0, this means this is 0, 115, which is right around there. And now I can draw a line connecting those two points. And there's my graph. Here's what we can say when we want to interpret the x and y intercepts. We can say that the x intercept of 38.33 means that if 38.33 sandwiches and zero drinks were purchased, the total cost would be $230. The y-intercept of 115 means that if zero sandwiches and 115 drinks were purchased, the total cost would be $230. So anywhere else on this line between the drinks and the sandwiches represents the $230. But on the y-intercept, that would be 120 drinks, 115 drinks, and no sandwiches versus the 38.33 sandwiches and no drinks. Most likely, he was somewhere else on this line. That's it. Good luck.